Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. This time uh, we are dealing with the with the uh, device, with the with the temperature measuring device again, because we said we want to have communication to here and from and from here. Uh, so I added first this one. Okay, here nothing really changed. The only thing I've added is here a little a little connection. Yeah. This should be the battery measurement. Yeah? So I want to have this battery powered. Yes. I'm going to use those those uh, nickel metal hydrate accumulators batteries, and I want these uh, to to I want this to measure be measured. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that. Okay, that's that. Uh, what I changed in the code, briefly show you. Yeah, basically it's it's all the same. Uh, it's all the same. Uh, what is new? Uh, pop, pop, pop. This one, uh, the transfer trigger for the battery. That we also transfer the the value for the battery to our and I just set this to 1%. Ah, let's see. Yeah. Then uh, color, I added more colors than just these four. I also added here colors because I want that it has a different color percent battery or if I commit uh, to, to, to the new value of the control temperature. Here I added also a new address to uh, Temperature measurement device, and this is two handheld device. This is the reading pipe. This is the receiving trans uh, direction, and the other one is the is the other side. And here, I am already opening the reading pipe to temperature measurement station, yeah, and start listening. All right, here I start listening. Uh, What is here? This radio available. This is actually just a copy of the other program. But here I'm reacting. Uh, if I get a C, I set a value to one. This is internally stored, so that I can say that I say, aha, uh -huh, I should, I should. Uh, I'm dealing with a new control temperature. This is what C means. Uh, here I'm building the the, the value. Yeah. And after all, this is exactly working exactly the same way as before. And after uh, we are received, we we everything is for, uh, correct. Yeah, state is equals to three. Uh, then the receive value, if it's one, yeah, and the received value is between zero and four, and the received value is not equal to the currently used control temperature. Yeah, then. Uh, I'm setting the parameter. I added a new parameter, control temperature, and store the control temperature value, value and say send control temperature set timer at 500. So in 500 milliseconds, I'm going to commit this. Here, here is somewhere send control temperature, set control temperature timer, transfer code. I added a new a new function, transfer code. Here is the code, here is the value I want to transfer, and here is the color number I want to use for this. Yeah. So we are sending here then uh, what I have used here. Radio available, this we can close already. See, yeah, for control temperature, the current control temperature number yeah, and color number four. I think this is purple or something like that. Hmm. Send control temperature, uh, timeout 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds I'm going to repeat this. Uh, just, to, just to be sure, because I don't know when the handheld device is turned on or off and so on. So I'm from time to time I'm sending this. Okay. Good, so that's the, the control temperature. 
It should work. Also here in in setup, I have added here control temperature value, get parameters. However, if there is no parameter set or if this is just stupid was written in there, I'm using null zero null zero as default. Huh? Okay, that's that. Huh? So one thing which also that better transfer temperature. You see, I'm opening the writing pipe as before. Stop listening as before. Yeah, this is everything as before. Yeah, but I stopped listening. Where do I start listening again? Yeah, here in the lead blink time route. So this short flash after the flat after the, the LED is is going to blank again. Yeah, I will start listening. So then I will not hear something in 100 milliseconds. So data might get lost, huh? but it will happen anyway. Huh? Good, and it's indeed working. Yeah? If we have a look at the serial monitor, huh? you see also uh, it, it's, it's flashing, flashy, flashy. And here you see, uh, here battery B is transferred uh, 1% because currently I plugged it into, into uh, ground, 26.82, uh, uh, for temperature zero, control temperature, even this we have already seen, okay, this is nice, control temperature zero, yeah, uh, temperature one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, Clear because there's nothing plugged in. Mm -hmm. So it is working uh, as it should. Yeah? I'm not sure about the receiving part, therefore I have to change my handheld device. And look, this is my handheld device, looking very convenient and very trustworthy, right? <laughs> yeah. Will look better if I have a case. I'm currently also designing cases and so on. Uh, we'll see. Oh, flashy, flashy, flashy. All right. So, what can we do? Uh, I want to know that the values I have here, I have here my, my, maybe switch to, to, to Camera. I have here my uh, no voltage source. <laughs> Labonitz gerät, yeah. In German, I would my Labonitz gerät, yeah, of course. My voltage source, regulating voltage source, and I want to feed in here voltage and measure this voltage with my voltmeter here so that I can be sure everything is, is nice I use also here clamps All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, I, it's nickel, nickel metal hybrid. Yeah? So we should not go below one volt. Uh, so, and two in a row, because I'm going to use, should also be somewhere here around. Yes. I'm going to use uh, such carrier yeah, with two batteries inside, so we have two times the voltage. So we should not go below uh, two volts. Uh, this two volts is zero percent, and uh, 1.25 volt is maximum. Uh, this, so this means 2.5 volt is 100 percent. And I want to sh see what 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 values this ADC is giving me for those. Uh, so let's see here, ground, 
connect ground connect ground to ground here maybe I use another another little cable probably a little bit safer ground tack tack over measurement device ground I'll connect this to the same ground okay and the plus side I'm going to connect here to the ADC valley now it's now yeah now it's getting really flashy because now it's just measuring noise huh? noise Plug it into my measurement device, plug it here. We should have around two dot two dot one two volts right now. Let's adjust this a little bit higher to two dot five. Yeah. Two dot five volts. Now we are 2.5 volts. What have we got? Yeah. If you're looking, if you're looking here on the screen, it's 55. 55.7. I'll note it. I'll note it here. Two dot five volt. Oh, you cannot read it, right? Two dot five volt is five hundred fifty seven ADC really. And now let's go down to two volts. <laughs> the battery is dropping. This is ooh. two volts. We have an ADC value of four hundred forty six. This is actually convenient. Yeah. Why? Because I used ADC value. What is 400 ADC minus 446? Yeah. Then what I get at 546 minus 446 equals 100. So I have then 100 percent. Yeah. If I interpret the simplest percent this number, yeah, I have then hundred percent. Let's I will try now to go to five hundred forty-six. Note it here, five hundred forty-six are going to be how many? Five hundred Forty-five. Two dot five. Uh, two dot four five three volt. I think this is fine for me. I think this is fine for me. This I'm going to go now. This is very convenient, easy. So the battery actually should not be where is this measure temps here battery read analog value minus and then we have 446 <laughs> this is 
This is good. 446. And that's it. Upload. This should should do the trick already. So right now we should have 100 percent because we are at 4.45. Ah, uh, maybe I should limit it. Ah, this is maybe not the best idea. Yes, I will limit it. I will limit it to 100 and of course to zero. Hmm. Not to, to present some strange values. Battery charge to 200%. All right, battery 99%. This is good. If I go above now, I cannot go above. Right, go below 60%. 100, that will not change. 100 is maximum. All right, so this is work, this is work. And now let's go down. Dropping, 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 dropping. One. 1.92. Battery 4%, two. Yes, it's working. <laughs> it's working. Great. Great. So that's working. Indeed, it's working. Good. Good. Now let's say this is now ready. Uh, we need to change something when we are... are uh, adding the control device, but now just for the handle device and for the temperature measurement device, this should be ready. Next thing to do is to, to code also the handle device so that we are transferring whenever we change the control, the control uh, temperature that we are transferring it to here and maybe also react on the, on the On the battery level, yeah, and also to 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 get the confirmation. Hmm. Ah, we'll do this in the next video. We'll do this in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.